Our beliefs strongly influence our results. Oftentimes we succeed when we believe we will succeed. And we will fail when we think that we will fail. In other words, guys, our mind, that's the our mind that influences our learning ability. So to learn faster and better English, we must master our mind. Specifically, we must master our beliefs and our ideas. As a successful adult, I think that you are highly intelligent. Yet you probably have a lot of negative beliefs about your English learning ability. Those include like, for example, I see that, you know, maybe many people say like English speaking is difficult, you know, I'm not good at English or I am nervous when I speak English or let's say um, I must speak English uh, perfectly every time or I cannot make mistakes or there is only one right answer. You know, like, um, and sometimes I, I really hear that say, the people say that I must memorize and follow all grammar rules. Like, people from my country cannot speak English well. You know, like, it's impossible to speak English easily and quickly if you don't believe yourself, right? And those are the, some common negative beliefs, I can say. But if I ask you, where did these beliefs come from? For most people, these beliefs were created in school. Very few children believe these things. You know, like when I taught small children, uh, it was like very easy, you know, like because they were fearless. They believed that the English uh, was fun. And of course, I always encouraged them to believe that. The children, you know, like also believed that the speaking English was easy. They never worried about the mistakes. They weren't nervous, you know. The children in my class gradually learned to speak with nearly perfect grammar, better than me. Yet they never studied grammar rules, you know, like. But unfortunately, in high school, you know, in the university, most, um, in most, you know, like uh, language centers, I can say, most students learn new negative beliefs. The teacher forced the students to memorize the grammar rules and the tests, and take the test, sorry. Students learn to believe that there is only one right answer for every question. They learn to fear mistakes. You know, like, look at these private language classes, you know, like, the students are embarrassed to make mistakes. And that's why they fear speaking. And by the time they are adults, most English speakers have many negative beliefs about speaking English. And you know what? These negative beliefs destroy their confidence. These beliefs, therefore, destroy their motivation. And most adult English learners feel stressed and nervous. But my friends, to speak English easily, you must destroy these negative beliefs. Tell yourself every single day that, you know, these beliefs that I believe are wrong. The beliefs are, are bullshit. Then you can replace these negative beliefs with the positive. Each morning, for example, you can say out loud, you know, English speaking is easy. I'm a great English speaker. And perfection equals this. Say these beliefs is a very strong voice. You know, like if you can yell them every morning, then visualize yourself speaking English to a native speaker. So that's very powerful. I did it many times. See yourself speaking quickly and easily. See yourself smiling and standing strong as you speak. Imagine that situation, you know, every day and see it clearly. So this small action will eventually change your beliefs completely and you will grow more confidence. And gradually, learning will feel easier. And in fact, the research shows that people with optimistic beliefs succeed 45% more than the people with negative beliefs. In other words, 
your beliefs influence your results. The positive beliefs create positive results. Negative beliefs create uh, failure, I can say. So choose your positive beliefs. Practice them every single day and make them stronger. Finally, um, there's one simple belief that you can choose that will probably totally change your English learning. And this, is, this belief is called S-A-N-I. So it's like a constant and never-ending improvement. Constant and never-ending improvement. And Japanese call this idea Kaizen. I really like that. The belief of Kaizen means that you will speak English very easily by just focusing on small, uh, tiny improvements every day. That's right, small, small, small improvements. With Kaizen, your goal is to make a very, again, like tiny improvement each day. For example, maybe you will learn, uh, you know, like one new phrase or sentence each day. Maybe you will listen to uh, one podcast in English each day. The point is that you focus on making just a tiny improvement, but you must do it every single day. This simple belief is, you know, like, I mean, the, the, the simple belief is powerful because it creates motivation. You will feel more relaxed because it's easy to make tiny improvements. However, these tiny improvements, they add up by time. And when you focus on Kaizen, you improve, improve slowly at first, yes. But your energy quickly grows. And soon, you are learning very fast. So constant and never ending improvement you know makes you feel you know like quite confident there's no stress each day your English speaking grows and probably in six eight or ten months you are speaking English easily and quickly it seems to happen automatically and this is the power of constant and never ending improvement kaizen that's it you know like destroy your negative beliefs choose and practice these positive beliefs that i just said and use the belief of the kaizen every day and these are the keys to mastering the mind in learning english thank you